I'm sorry, Phil, but your moral high ground has collapsed under the weight of your 45 year span of roofie settlements. As your new agent, I'm telling you, you are going to have to reinvent yourself. I have a few ideas. How about a book? Take this. It will make you feel better. Now look deep into my patterned sweater. You're getting sleepy. And her head fell into his lap and he tore open the ice box and took out a chocolate pudding pop. Focus groups say if the aphrodisiac makes it that easy that the man should have to fight a dragon or a witch or I don't know, a witch disguised as a dragon. Anyway, what else you got? I got an idea for a practical invention. You know what's so cool about Coxby's settlement pops? They're like any other settlement. They have a handle. So if your left hand is doing this, your right hand could be doing this. Or this. Or this. Or you know, but when your right hand see how much fun your left hand's having, it wouldn't want to be left out. Now you have to share. Coxby settlement pops. Real settlements only quicker. That's not going to work. You're not an attorney. What about an adult animation? Okay, let's hear it. Who's the leader of the drug that's making them and not resist? M-I-C-K-E-Y-W-O-E-N! It's the Mickey Women Club! Hey, hey, hey! It's Blackout Albert. You are going to need a lot more attorneys. One last idea. I could be a motivational speaker. These women are getting drugs in the head over a piece of pound cake. And we all run out outraged. Coxby shouldn't have drugged her. The hell was she doing with pound cake anyway? I can't even talk how these women talk. Why ain't no, uh, no, why? Good news, it's not about money. It's about you doing something people ordinarily do for their idols. Bury all their secrets, dirty laundry, ignore everything. Thank you for letting me speak at this national organization for women. Now let's go make Jesus smile. You know what? On second thought, you should consider retiring and moving to France. Maybe a new career like IMF chief. <laughs>